Hey guys, what's going on? It's Majin Bay. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about some more cosmic call type stuff. Uh, I've been experimenting with the card and its various like archetypes quite a bit, and I've been enjoying this one. I like splashing in the Victor. I really like Starry Scamp, and I'm going to talk about why in a little bit. Um, but if you're not familiar with the card, Cosmic Call lets you invoke something that costs seven or more, and then all your Celestial costs uh, are halved, which is really big. And then you have Discounters in the form of Leveled Victor and Mountain Scryer. Uh, this is really, really nice because you can get a cheap Living Legends, fill up your mana, and then just do all sorts of disgusting stuff. Now, this deck needs to not take a lot of damage because the turn that you cast Cosmic Call is basically an entire turn off, usually on like turn five through seven, and you just have to take the entire turn to only cast Cosmic Call and not affect the board. So things like Lunari Dustbringer, Spacey Sketcher, um, and Starry Scamp help you just kind of flood the board early and knock it absolutely ran over. Your late game is kind of secured with things like three copies of Star Shaping, all your Mountain Scryers, and um, your Cosmic Calls. Now, the card that I'm not super certain on is Giddy Sparkleologist, which is very, very good on Zoe, but kind of whatever otherwise. Like, yeah, you could put it on Victor, but that costs a lot of mana, and it's kind of awkward to get to happen before your opponent removes Victor. I'm not sold on this card, but... We will see. We have uh, two copies of Star Tipped Peak, which I've been really enjoying in this list because it turbo levels your Victor. Uh, it helps your Star Scamps be discounted like very, very early. And it you can do a lot. You can get a lot of tempo combining it with Mountain Square. So this is the list. Um, we are going to take it on Master's Ladder. I'm currently at 130 LP. And we'll, uh, we'll see how it does. What are we up against? The mirror, a little bit of Victor Pelios. Okay, so there's a couple different forms of this. I like the Zoe Splash uh, because I like Zoe. <laughs> but we'll see what our opponent's playing. The thing about these kind of matchups is often you want to mulligan pretty aggressively for Cosmic Call. So I might do this. I think Victor is good enough to keep. But the rest is a mulligan. Cards I keep, Victor, Zoe, Cosmic Call. I think everything else in this matchup is probably a mulligan. You see a mulligan Sunburst, which is like... In theory, a very, very good card um, because it kills opposing victors, but I just don't think it's good enough compared to having Cosmic Call. If you, if your opponent has Cosmic Call and you don't, uh, you're gonna you're in for a bit of a rough time. Okay, this is one of those spots though where we can giddy Sparkleologist on Sparkleologist, Sparkleologist. Okay, unfortunate. So it could just kill a Felios. But I kind of want to go like this. Super cool star chart. Finding. Well, these are good. These are good. Um, thinking Serpent. We do a little bit of this. That's exactly what I was thinking, Zoe. We're going to play Victor. We get the um, Augment trigger with Serpent. Our opponent might have, like, Sunburst or something. What's your favorite thing you ever held in? Zoe's relationship with like Victor and Aurelian Soul are really funny. It cracks me up every time. Right, what did you hit? And they get a random weapon here. Lifesteal. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, jump rope. Okay, we can't actually send. We might get like Serpent Calibre. We can't actually send um, Victor in because of Pale Cascade. So we'll probably just attack with Zoe. I didn't know she got buffed to a 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> That's pretty solid. That's a pretty solid stat line for a 3-mana card. Ah, we're popping Spell Shield. Okay. Popping Spell Shield and going to be drawing the Victor spell. Uh, the good news is, is I have Blessing of Targon to like counter that. The bad news is our opponent will have a lot of mana. Maybe they have a Tellstones and they hush Zoe or something in response. Ooh, scamp. Nice. <laughs> okay. Impact. Not super relevant. Here's my own. Uh, quick attack. Elusive. Those are the good ones. Spell shield. Regen's not the worst thing on the planet. Okay, Infernum, huh? Of course. Sure, and they phased into Calibrum. I'm just going to play Scamp. Six on Zoe. You leave that Sparkle Fly out of it. Okay. 
Happy to jump here. Big Victor. I don't want to like... Okay, opponent pass. I, I did want to go under our Blessing of Targon. Six out of ten. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, we should be able to flip. Ingenious. I think the safest play was probably like play Spacey Sketcher first. Ditching this. Because, uh, I was going to say, if our opponent, like, responds with something else to kill Zoe, that would be really bad. Elusive. Huge. Huge, 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 huge. All right, what do you got? <laughs> okay. We have some options. <laughs> One of them is, uh, just YOLOing and trying to hit Moonsilver. What's Victor at? Six. We can go behold the infinite. So we're here. Oh no, that doesn't work. The human mind takes time. Oh, okay. So we just have to hit Moon Silver. Oh, let's go. Let's go. All right. I wasn't worried. A new era of technology begins. Let's go ahead and discount our star shaping. Flip Zoe. That's huge. I'm doing it anyway. Okay, we got a leveled Zoe who lives, by the way. Nice. We're one off lethal. <laughs> we just put our opponent at one. It gets a lot easier from there. How do you like that, Sparkles? Unfortunately, no cosmic call. Ooh, Akshan Samira. I've been pushing this deck pretty hard if you've been watching the channel. Letting people know that I think this is really good and that they should be playing it. Bit of a slow start here. We have Sunburst to try to deal with the champion on turn three. Which is good. Oh no, Sunburst does six. It would have killed Zoe. I don't know why I thought it wouldn't. Hello. I feel like it used to deal five. Or maybe I'm just thinking of the five mana. Okay. I mean, I'm glad we have these cosmic calls, but it's a little bit early for that. So I guess the plan... Okay. We're not taking it. We're, We're taking, taking it back. I love sparkle flies. I will offer a trade. I also Everything. love sparkle flies. No sparkle fly. It's true. Busted. All right. The good news, our opponent has a bit of a slow start. So we get to get Victor going. Yeah, we don't need Scar's camp yet. Is a weakness we must shed. Must be nice living off stolen coin. Analyzing approach. Another vagabond. Wow, elusive right off the bat. Are we gonna see like pump spell strike spell? Wouldn't be super surprised. Uh I'm just gonna pass. We don't actually need the damage, and I'm worried about Quicksand plus Pump Spell. It's just not worth it to lose Victor, because if we get leveled Victor with Cosmic Call and Mountain Scryer, we're going to go, like, basically infinite. Here's Scryer. Uh, we're immediately just going to take Living Legends. I know that Charger's, like, free and stuff, and that's really good, but we're just going to snap off Living Legends, because that's what we want to find with Cosmic Calls anyway. Take it. Scamp. Moonday. Adults are boing. Opponent does not have a lot of pressure, which is very fortunate. Uh, is this the strike spell? Going after Mountain Scryer. Sure. 
Okay, I faded. Okay, we'll likely go um, Cosmic Call this turn. And then we'll like get Victor leveled from there probably pretty easily. Take this guy. One sling, a bunch of targets. All of this is okay. ours. Our opponent plays the champ, then I'll attack. We don't worry about quicksand. We'll okay. see which one of That's us. Very good. <laughs> fixing the world one we scoundrel at a time. We need. We need one more turn. We need to survive our opponent's attack. And then take our turn. And then we go pretty crazy. Casting Sunburst seems not ideal because I'm just going to assume that's Avenging Vestaya. Find us keepers. Find us keepers. Okay, okay, okay. Aphelios, uh, probably not going to play you, bud. Sorry. Don't think I quite have time. This will go four with this. We'll Cosmic Call. These go to three. Scourge. LL. Fill back up. Probably cast one of these in the meantime. And just like keep trying to go for it. These will cost three. Two once I level him. Hmm. Okay, let's cast this while we can. If our opponent has a strike spell and goes after Victor... Uh, we want to make sure that we get, get to cast this first. Okay. Take everything. You can't stop me. Probably should have just blocked here, but I think even with Absolver, they don't get there. Oh, man. They need like Absolver plus a bunch of stuff, and then I have Star Shaping, so it just shouldn't really work. Okay, Cosmic Call. Here we go. Another Living Legends. I will do that. They need to have Samira and Rally V. <laughs> or things are about to get real nasty for us. Well, nasty. I'm going to be doing nasty things. It's going to get nasty for our opponent. Yeah, they have to cast like 12 spells post Samira, which is possible with Warlord Sword, but... Not likely. It'll likely be our turn. All right. They kill our sad Victor. They're going to pop this on our turn. That should be fine. It sucks we lose Victor, but, you know, it is what it is. And how much mana will I have to work with? Eight. Okay. Oh, my God. Another Victor. Um... Start here. Draw two. Then we can cosmic call, not for eight, just for two. Living legends back up. We only get a couple cards, four, but like if any of them are cheap, which like, base we double cosmic call. Everything should be cheap, basically. Victor will be leveled. We get to play him. Do stuff even more cheap. Living Legends again. Yeah, I'm hoping our opponent kills this <laughs> instead of Victor. That's why I played this first. Okay, let's do this. Uh, I will take... Cosmic Rays, because it's going to be one mana. Refill. Victor. With utmost efficiency. We level him with this, right? As long as they don't have another strike spell. 
Then like Equinox is free. This costs one. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Okay, double victor. Oh, new oh, sorry, new vision. My bad. That we're embracing a new era of progress. That's that one's on me. Okay, Equinox here. Bringing up Cosmic Rays. I took Cosmic Rays because of a, a Samira hitting the board. Or another Avenging Mistai or something. Metal is perfection. Mm -hmm. And then, like, we get to go. We get to do this. We get to play some of the stuff. Living Legends back up. Continue doing disgustingly broken things. Do I even Cosmic Rays? I don't think so. <laughs> I think I'm just going to be like, Destroyer, Destroyer, Living Legends. Here we go. It's fine with me. He's a large lad. Here's another large lad. Here should be the nail in the coffin. Fill it back up. Oh yeah, don't mind if I do. <laughs> don't mind if I do. You know how I feel about this card. Maybe a little bit of this. Pop those spell shields. Charger. This is pretty gross. Comet here. <laughs> Aphelios, give Victor overwhelm. Inferno. Darkness falls. The moon rises. Start moon glow. Another brilliant design. So nothing's quicksandable. And then we'll just send this in. I don't need to keep playing with my food anymore. That's the good stuff. They did have quicksand. Mm-hmm. Is that Triple Absolver? Wow. <laughs> All three, huh? Not quite gonna do it. Oh, man. It's just... It's so fun. It gives you the feeling of, like, flipping an Aurelian Soul, but you don't actually have to flip an Aurelian Soul. <laughs> Pink, yellow, no champs. This has got to be, um... The landmark, right? The chip landmark? Ooh. Double Scryer. Okay, we have... That's a good draw. We have Mystic Shot for the 2-2 um, two -two Ionia guy. That makes things cheaper. This deck, if it's the deck, I think it is. Plays the chip landmark. And it looks to play the... Uh, yep, the this is the thing. The, uh, the Serpent three. guy. That... Um, makes a copy of followers so then when you play a serpent with a chip landmark it fills your entire board with them zoe never loses because, because zoe makes the wills is serpent just in case our opponent has quicksand we get to pull this out of the way All right, they have Scrying Sands, which means I don't hit with Zoe, but that's okay. And then we're going to go Mountain Scryer, and I think we're going to be looking for Comet. Because we can blow up the landmark with it. Ooh, Scamp. Nice. Chronomancer. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I mean, we're going to look to, like, blitz this game. Scryer. Probably a second trickster. I wanted new stuff, but that's okay. I might like ditch one to Spacey Sketch or something. We're just looking to level Zoe. Even like Messenger is good. Leo, yet? <laughs> You've got a 
show me how to portal first, remember? Hello. Oh, Mountain Scryer. Oh, we miss. All right, that means there's either another Mystic Shot or a Victor on top. But I do get to Zed Bard. That's part of the rules, actually. There it is. Okay, let's ditch one of the Tricksters. Really? <laughs> we couldn't, uh... Couldn't find anything to work with here? All right, we'll take you to I'm, I'm a serious, serious artist, artist now. now. I, I think it's Sparkleflies. Yeah, and the whole gang's getting in there. We are trying to whoop ass. If our opponent gets to the snake, I get to Equinox it. And if we think we should go for Zoe Flip and we can get there next turn, which is unlikely, they did have Quicksand. All right, well, we're not getting the Zoe Flip. We pushed a lot of damage. We have the Trickster. We can go like Trickster, Sparkleologist. We draw. That's right, Victor. Yeah. Doing a lot of damage. We're go whatever we do, we're gonna have to open attack next turn though, because if our opponent just gets to play Snake, it just fills the board. When we look ahead, we know how to prepare. Okay, that one is the landmark. You gotta keep your eye on it because it won't tell you for whatever reason. So I'm watching to see if it our opponent does a bunch of switch runes. Oh, uh, you're clearing the board. Protector, shield me. For the snake. Next turn. However, my plan is to not let them do that at all. <laughs> my plan is for them to just die. And if they don't play another unit, they don't have a blocker. And we just get to open attack with this entire board. Completed. Impact, that's one extra damage. Trickster. The trickster believes it chases the messenger. Ingenious. I don't know how that works with like the serpent thing. I just want the trigger on Victor. They could have like um something that gives like sands of time or um the other one spirit fire but they don't and we get the w nice the deck can be a little quick that wasn't very quick <laughs> that was like turn seven vein galio j man vein galio jarvin we want zoe we want mountain scryers I'm going to keep this, and I'm just going to hope we can, like, get here. I shouldn't really be keeping Cosmic Call. However, I'm incredibly greedy, and I think it's fun. Hello. Never loses because Zoe so makes the poses. Therefore, we keep Cosmic Call. You got to do it for the there. for the YouTubes, for the tuber. Okay, I'll pass. Equinox, please. That sucks. Get in the portal! This our opponent doesn't have Challenger yet. You gotta show me how to portal first, remember? Oh. <laughs> I think I'm gonna hush it. I call this constellation the uh, jump rope. It puts Zoe at five. And we get another look for Equinox, which is so incredible in like the formidable matchups. I don't know if you have sharp sight, but I hope you don't. Troll chant. Okay. With a little help, I made you fly. Equinox? Take a charger. 
I know these paths well. Stop, stop, stop! We're at seven. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get there. <laughs> Unless we get priority, we get to play Spacey Sketcher. Then we get there. A slight adjustment. Interesting. Very interesting. Ditch Sunburst. Double stun. I have to cash in Cosmic Call though, which sucks. I paint Sparkle Flies. Yeah. 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 Invoke. Ooh, that's good stuff. Uh, I mean, you know which card I like to take. Man, but Supernova is so much better. <laughs> it's just like such a better card. Um... Or I could take Grapion. Maybe I should just take Grapion. Because I have Zoe. Shoot here. Flip Zoe. In times of crisis, an aspect descends to herald the reshaping of worlds. And get kicked. So, Victor will give everything Augment. Which is pretty good. And then, I have a double stun. So, if we draw something... No, I guess there's no draws here that let us continue to do more augment stuff, huh? Basically just these two, which is, you know, pretty good. We can probably force some blocks out. Or we can play it defensive, go to the following turn, great beyond. That's pretty good, too. And just try to survive. Shouldn't be too difficult, he says, <laughs> before it becomes too difficult. Da -da -da. Demons walk mm. among us, okay. masquerading as men. That's a spicy star ball. You pop this up to four. Six with the spear. That's pretty strong. I'm open to just passing here. A sketcher. Interesting. An open attack can threaten Victor, but Every yeah, I didn't expect to see an open attack here. This makes me think our opponent wants to cast, like, something else first before attacking. So, I'm going to just sketch her this away. Trickster's pretty good. Uh, you're still painting everything? Maybe you'd like it if you weren't so busy being mean. Now, well, that's a bit better. I would like to block how I would like to block, please. Final that augment trigger. Cool. Get Pale Cascade up. This is at six. Trickster's going to give everything elusive. Trigger augment. It's looking pretty good. Victor. He chases the mankind must realize its full potential. Wasn't I offered Moonsilver instead of Trickster? I probably was just supposed to Moonsilver Grapion. <laughs> Steady hands. It's hard to go wrong with that. Publish or perish. Do this. This is going to regen back up. And then here comes the great beyond, because I don't want to lose to like, I don't know, something stupid. <laughs> I don't even know what it could be, but I don't want to lose to it, so I'm not going to. Yeah, that's more like it. Ooh, drag them all in. Oh, come on, get in there. Oh, so close. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. One step closer. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, it, the deck performed well. I like it. I'm really enjoying like having the starry scamps to help lock down the early game. I think there's some more like tweaking with the numbers that can be done. I think maybe Giddy Sparkleologist should be switched for something a little bit more defensive. I'm not sure exactly what yet though. Um, maybe the stun two, cosmic something. 
you know, the five mana one. Uh, I really like that card, and it doesn't mess with our allegiance. So that's something I will continue to experiment with. I hope you guys try the deck. I, I, if you haven't played Cosmic Call, you really should. It's really, really fun. Um, go do that right now. But anyway, thank you guys so much for coming out. I'll see you next time.